Mom, what choices did I get? Your choice is to take off your ponytails or your lipstick. Okay, I'll remove my lipstick. You can't. Bad things will happen if you remove it. Okay, Mom. Look, the blind girl. Yeah, that lipstick looks so ugly. On. Are you guys not tired of bullying me? Hey, the blind girl has the courage to answer now. <laughs> Class, we will hold a poetry reading competition. I want to join. You're blind. How are you going to read? Sir, don't let her. Amara, from now on, you don't have to join reading class. It's useless. Yeah, but... Actually, we're ashamed to have people like you in our class. Why do I have to be blind? Why can't I be the same as the other kids? Hello, excuse me. I'm new here. I wanted to ask where the library is. In, uh... Uh, sorry, you can't see, right? Yes, I'm blind. Oh, okay. I'm Ryan, by the way. I'm Amara. Look, the blind girl's here. Let's bully her. Hey, red lip, confused, right? Give Where it back, going? please. Here, take it. You're stupid anyway. Guys, stop bullying her. Who the hell are you? Why are you getting involved? Actually, he's handsome. Why don't you introduce yourself? I don't want to be friends with mean girls like you. You're so arrogant. Let's just go. Thanks, Ryan, for helping. Welcome, Amara. I'm your friend after all. Wow, I finally have a friend. You don't have any friends at school? No, they all think I'm weird because I'm wearing red lipstick. They call me red lip. Why are you wearing it anyway? You're beautiful without it. Just remove it. Mom says bad things will happen if I do. I feel like there's something weird about that lipstick, don't you? Maybe that's why you're blind. No way. I've been blind since childhood, Ryan. But you've also worn that lipstick since childhood. Oh. You're right. Just remove it. Don't be scared. Okay, I'll remove it now. The government gave me four million? I'll just put it on private so no one uses me for my money. Wow, this is a very big school. Yes, this is a school for rich people's children. Oh, I see. You can only enter class in one condition. What condition? You have to have at least 500k. What kind of school requires this much money? From your answer, I already know you're poor. Ah, oh, it hurts. Let go. Hey, what are you doing? You don't have to interfere. This new kid is poor. He only has 200k. He deserves to be tortured. So people at the school are beaten for having little money. Hey, your name's Amara, right? Why did you seem concerned about that new kid earlier? Actually, what's your balance? 20,000. Why? I guess you have to leave this class now. I don't want to. You slapped me? I can do whatever I want. I'm the richest kid in school. True, she is. Don't mess with her. Let's go to the canteen. Oh, I forgot. You're poor. You can't afford food here. It's only for rich people. You want me to buy food for you? What are you going to do? Borrow money of people? <laughs> she thinks she can buy food for us all. Keep dreaming. Why are you sitting here? Because it's my seat. It doesn't matter. I want to sit here today, so you have to leave. I don't want to. Amara, quickly, step aside. She's the richest girl in school. You have to listen to what she says. Why doesn't she sit on her own seat? Why does she have to sit here? Amara, enough is enough. Do what she says. That's it. I'm putting my balance on public. Look at the poor girl. Did you just finish robbing a bank? Maybe she got a sugar What? Dog. No, this is my original balance. Did you guys see? Apparently Amara's balance now is higher than Gemma's. Shut up all of you. She probably robbed the bank. I'm still the richest girl in school. It's not even her money. Amara, admit it. Where did you get the money from? I told you. The money's from the government. The government? I knew it. You're a thief. You stole money from the what government. What the heck? No, they gave it to me. I'm going to report you to the government. Come with me now. Where are you taking me? This is gonna end now. You wanna report me? The government man is my dad. Sir, I would like to report. What's wrong, honey? Sir, I would like to report. What's wrong, honey? Honey? Yes, that's my daughter. See, I told you, the government is my dad. Amara, you're expelled from school. Well, but what did I do wrong? Kelly told me you're stealing money from the government and we don't accept thieves in school. I'm not stealing anything. It was given to me. I don't believe you. Sorry. Pack your things. Amara, I want to tell you a big secret about Kelly, but you have to transfer me 300,000. Okay, I'll transfer it now. Okay. What's the secret? I've been friends with Kelly since childhood, so I know everything about her. She's dating someone's husband. Wait, what? Yeah, because he's rich and he gives her money. I have Where? Money. If you want proof, you have to give me another 100,000. All right, fine. Okay, this is it, Amara. 
Oh my gosh, it's true. Kenny's dating someone's husband. Kenny, I know you told that to each other I'm a thief and I'm gonna make you regret it. And what are you gonna do? I'm gonna tell our teacher that you're only rich because you're dating someone else's husband. Switch bodies with sister or soulmate. My sister really takes showers anymore, so I'm gonna pick soulmate. Whoa, this is my soulmate's body? She's so beautiful. Amara, go to the principal's office now. Her name is Amara. Look, the nerd is here. Are you talking about me? Yeah, you have a problem? Tell us now. Why are they like this? Hey, do my homework. Why are you giving it to me? Did you forget our agreement? Her agreement? If you don't want to do my homework, I'm going to tell my dad to remove you from the school. I'm not going to do it. So all this time my soulmate has been treated like this? Why don't you want to do my homework? Because I just don't. You'll regret that. Wow, Amara's brave now. Are you the one who tore Sarah's uniform? What? No. Yeah, she did, miss. She tore my uniform. Stop lying. You're only angry because I didn't do your homework. Amara, I believe Sarah. You ripped her uniform. No, I didn't. Why are you speaking to me like that? I'm your teacher. Why are you treating your students so badly? You're believing her over me. You're brave. Now, I'm going to teach you a lesson. What are you going to do? Amara, there's a handsome guy looking for you. He's at the canteen. <laughs> Mommy, I have hearts all over my face. Oh, you got your hearts, but you only have three. Those hearts represent the amount of times you're allowed to be heartbroken. Every time someone breaks your heart, you lose one of your hearts. So what happens if I have no hearts left? You die. <gasps> Hey, besties. <clears throat> Pizza face. <laughs> Jake, stop it. You can't sit with us. Everyone's looking at you because of all your pimples on your face. It's embarrassing. It's just a little breakout. I've been really stressed recently. You can't sit with us. Is my acne really that bad? My heart's missing. That means they broke my heart. Hey, babe. Bro, what's all over your face? Yeah, babe, what happened? It's just pimples. It will go away. <laughs> That's your girl, bro? She's not my girl. I'm not... I only have one heart left. I can't get heartbroken again. I know what to do. I only have one heart left. I can't get heartbroken again. I know what to do. Whoa, Brianna looks hot. Hey girl, come sit with us. Yesterday when you said I couldn't sit with you guys, you made me lose a heart. I can't trust you guys won't break my heart again. You never even deserved it in the first place. <laughs> babe, you look so good today. I'm not your babe. Yesterday, you didn't want to be with me because I had pimples. You made me lose a heart. I only have one left because of you. I can't trust you won't break my heart again. I'm sorry. Class, we have a new student today. Everyone meet John. You can sit wherever you like, John. Hey, can I sit here? Sure, do whatever you want. Lucky me, I get to sit next to the prettiest girl in the class. Look, I'm not interested. I can't risk getting involved with another person again. Hey, wait, why did you say you can't risk getting involved with another person? I only have one heart left. If I get heartbroken again, I'll die. I only have one heart left, too. How about we take the risk together? I only have one heart left. If I get heartbroken again, I'll die. I only have one heart left, too. How about we take the risk together? Okay, let's try it then. But just know, if you break my heart, you'll be considered a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, babe. Hey, can I ask what happened to your other hearts? How'd they get broken? My best friends and boyfriend broke my heart because they didn't like the way I looked. You may not notice, but I have really bad acne under all this makeup. That's so superficial. I would never do that to you. Wow, you're so strong and muscular. <laughs> Thanks. I want to kiss you. Brittany, I... Why would you... John? It's not what it looks like. Brianna, she came on to me. I saw you. You kissed her. You don't have any hearts left. Brianna! Good, you're awake. How am I alive? Where's John? Who do you think gave you the heart? He gave you his last one. Mommy, my life is worth a cupcake. No, honey, your life is worth one pound, but that's fine. You're still young. You can work yourself up. So, class, each person in this world has a price. Sir, what do I need to do to change my life to be priceless? That doesn't happen. Everything has a price. I see you on your phone. Hope you did your homework. No, I didn't do it. I can't believe this. At the age of 16, your life is still worth five pounds. Mom, I already said, I don't want to play this game. My life is already priceless. Look at the world you live in. Here, every life has its price. 
Plus, this is Amara. She's the new student that's going to be studying with you. But if her life is worth nothing, she shouldn't be studying with us. Don't be mean. Help her around the school so her life will be worth more. Listen, we don't know why you got transferred with us, but we're not going to help you. I didn't ask for your help. Tomorrow's our test and I hope you get a bad grade and get kicked out of here. Don't listen to them. I think you'll get good grades. Here's your test. Take the right answers and give it back. Good luck. I hope your life will be worth a few more pounds. We don't know why you got transferred with us, but we're not going to help you. I didn't ask for your help. Tomorrow's our test and I hope you get a bad grade and get kicked out of here. Don't listen to them. I think you'll get good grades. Here's your test. Take the right answers and give it back. Good luck. I hope your life will be worth a few more pounds. You'll have exactly two hours to complete the test. Honey, how was your test? The results are loading. I hope you got a good grade. Thanks, mom. The results are ready. I'm so nervous. Stay calm. Don't worry. Oh my god, I got 100,000 pounds. I got 500,000. I got my results, but I got zero. Have you gotten yours, Amara? Knowing people's age or knowing people's name usually it's easier to know people's name and people lie about their age all the time so i choose age morning mom happy birthday whoa you remember my birthday i'm surprised how old are you gonna be mom you forgot what no you're gonna be 40 years old thank you for remembering here have some pocket money thanks mom hey um how are you i'm okay just a bit stressed wait you're 19 years old how is that even possible? We're all 17 in class. Did you forget that I had to retake the same class twice because of my grades? Oh yeah, true. I totally forgot. Sorry if I hurt your feelings. Good morning, children. Please welcome our new student. Whoa, it's a girl. I really want her to join our group, don't you? But wait a minute, if she's not 17, I don't want her in our group. You two, just calm down. I can tell if she's 17 or not. Really? Hello everyone, my name is Tasha. Hey, do you want to join our group? Are you sure you want to ask her that? Guys, but we still don't know if she's older than us or if she's younger than us. Then hurry up and check. Um, why isn't her age showing up? Sorry guys, but I can't see her age. Oh, great. But that's so strange. No, what's strange is how all the boys are crushing on her. I mean, she's really pretty, but I still don't understand how I can't see her age. Oh yes, I remember reading in a book that if you're struggling to see someone's true age, you just have to knock them out. Knock them out? Do you want me to get kicked out of school? But if I don't hit her, I'll never know her real age. All right, fine, I'll slap Tasha. Good, now where is she? We need to find her. I think she might be surrounded by all the guys as usual. Let's look for her in the hall. Hey, what are you two doing here? Yes, what are you doing here? Don't get close to Tasha. Guys, relax. I'm her classmate. I just wanted to ask her about the task we got in class. Oh, okay. Just a moment. I heard you were looking for me. Finally. Hurry up because we don't have much time. Amara, do it now. Amara, do it now. Come on, come on. Hey, how dare you slap Tasha like that? Yes, how dare you? We're going to make you regret this. Come with us. Wait. You can't slap Tasha again. Do you understand? Why do you care about her so much? Because she's pretty. So you only like her because she's pretty? You guys are crazy. So what happened? I tried slapping Tasha, but nothing happened. We need to come up with a different plan. Uh, where are you going? Nowhere, I was just... Since you have nothing to do, help me clean my desk. I think the teacher knows my plan. He's trying to distract me to not find out Tasha's age. If you don't do it, I'll reduce your no, grades. No, sir, please. If you reduce my grades, I won't be able to complete the next semester. That's right, so start cleaning now. Fine. Amara, how come you're cleaning the teacher's he desk? He said he'd reduce my grades if I didn't. Oh, anyway, I found out another way to know Tasha's age. How? You have to make her eat an apple, apparently. It helps to see how old she really is. All right, thank you so much for letting me know. Mom, I'm home. Honey, there's a friend of yours waiting in the living room. Hurry up, she's been waiting for a long time. Wait, are you sure it's a friend of mine? I mean, no, I've never seen her before, but she's very funny and cute. Funny and cute? Yeah, she's really pretty too. We have nothing in the fridge, so I gave her an apple to eat. All right, let me go see who it is. Mmm, this is really delicious. Where did you get this apple, Tasha? Did you just eat the apple? Yeah, why? Yes, it's starting to appear. I wonder what number it will stop at. 
Yes, it's time to appear. I wonder what age you will stop at. I'm gonna find out how old you are really soon. I'm 17 years old, just like you. Oh yeah, but I don't believe you. Don't worry, your age will soon appear. It stopped at 17. Yes, that's my age, see? Hello everyone, quickly open the door, Amara. Why don't we just break in? Good idea, three, two, one. Why would you just break my door like that? Hello bodyguards, don't worry about me, I'm doing okay. Don't hurt our Tasha. Why did you come all the way here for? We want to pick up Tasha because we thought she was in trouble. Yeah, we were so scared and ran here immediately. You guys just calm down, I'm doing fine. In fact, I'm really happy because a couple of minutes ago, I had the most delicious apple of my life. I'm pretty sure she's not actually 17 years old. This is not her real age. How do you feel? Have you managed to see her age yet? I did. It says she's 17, but I can't believe it. I think there might be an error in the system. Someone's calling me with an unknown number. Who could it be? Just pick up. Hello, Amara. Let's have dinner tonight. Who is this? Oh my gosh, you don't recognize my voice? The age is not appearing. You must be Tasha, right? Yes, I'll send you the full address later, okay? Don't forget to come. Okay. I wonder what she's up to. Is this her house? Whoa, it's really big. No wonder she's spoiled. Hey, Amara, come in. What room is that? Why is the shape strange? Oh, that's where I uh, have my clothes. You have a whole room for clothes? Let me see. No, we're still um, renovating it. Okay. Let's go get food. I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah, sure. But um, before we eat, I just need to quickly go to the toilet. Okay, now that she's gone, I'm going to quickly explore this room. Three, two, one. Tasha? Oh, it's Tasha's friend. Please feel free to come in. I'm Tasha. Hello, mom. nice to meet you. Why do you look so young? Oh, stop it. You're so kind. You're 20 years old? How? That's impossible. Isn't Tasha 17? Actually, Tasha is... How? This is impossible. Isn't Tasha 17? Actually, Tasha is... Mom, what are you talking about? Nothing. I was just saying hi to your friend. What are you doing uh, here, Amara? I was just lost. I couldn't find the toilet. You should have told me. I would have helped you. I have to change the subject. Yeah, true. Could you please show me where it is? Yeah, come with me. <sighs> Finally, thank you for showing me where your toilet was. That's fine. Here, have some snacks. What? Only this? I thought we were going to eat an expensive meal because, you know, you're rich. Just be thankful I gave you something. I can't believe I still haven't found out how old she is. How difficult could it be? What's wrong? Huh? Where did you get that book from, Mom? It was delivered by the postman. How come it doesn't have a sender's name? This book is mine. Anyways, thanks for picking it up. Where's Tasha today? Class, Tasha didn't come to school today because she's sick. But yesterday she was feeling fine, sir. She showed me a letter from the doctor, so I believe her. I have to go to her house again after school. Hello, excuse me. I'm here to visit Tasha. Uh, Amara? Yes, can I come in? Um, I don't know. I mean, Tasha's really sick. I don't think she wants to see anyone. Well, I brought her soup. Can I at least come in and give it to her? Yeah, sure. Tasha? Tasha, where are you? Oh, there you are. Amara, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Mom, did you let her in? Yes, she said she brought you soup. Wait, this whole time it turns out... It turns out you're 90 years old? Ugh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm never going to school again. Who even are you? Well, are you going to tell her the truth or should I? Mom, please. Basically, our family made this potion to make us look younger. But since you slept her yesterday, the potion isn't working on her anymore. And now she can never be young again. 